Hello everyone. Welcome to High Performance Computing, Advanced Scientific Computing 4. This is Lecture 11, Applications and Open Form. In this lecture, in first part, we will talk about the environment of the open form uh, software uh, and its features and the structure of the uh, software, how it's working and how we can uh, make a simulation. Uh, as well, we will talk about uh, its capability to uh, run some parallel computing. Uh, and in the second part, we will have the example for practical uh, simulation of the open form. Uh, we will do the simulation via parallel computing on the personal computer and as well uh, on the USR computer that is virtual. Your actual This is the outline of the course. Uh, since it's CFP official and we lecture earlier, and we will carry on about the open science application with uh, practical examples. In the beginning, uh, we take a look on the uh, lecture 10. Uh, that what we had discussed about the CFP and parallel computing. Uh, we had talked about uh, different applications later in this area. Uh, since uh, recently, the uh, deep learning and its model uh, presented really good capability uh, in a wide range of applications. And uh, there are many interests uh, for, to apply it in the fluid dynamics. It is required to design your data and after its available data uh, to uh, be possible uh, use the deep learning. So from the availability data in the flow dynamics, usually uh, the challenge firstly is the turbulent flow, uh, which uh, we need to apply uh, three well-known methods around LES and DNS, and we talk. Uh, in the previous lecture about this numerical method for covalent flow. Uh, when we have a data set from this solution, we can apply this data set uh, in deep learning and provide a model for prediction uh, on the specific or some features of the flow. Uh, also, uh, there are some experiments in the flow dynamics and uh, we can apply data set from experiments uh, to have a model with deep learning in, and uh, make prediction or model for the following periods of the flow. However, uh, it is essential to uh, design the data, how we can apply them. In deep learning, we have different methods to make a model and simulation. We focus, we focus on the uh, sequential data because in the fluid dynamics area, we have a perspective and platform of the Lagrangian framework. Uh, we can have measurements on the Lagrangian framework in the temporal and the spatial uh, features. So it is possible uh, to apply this data in time series deep learning models. LSTM and do uh, two uh, of networks that are applicable for uh, uh, time series data. However, there are other uh, generation from these uh, networks, as well as some uh, uh, studies apply LSTM do both together in a network to uh, make a simulation and model for the prediction. So these uh, two networks uh, able to use in time series data, and we can uh, make the data in this way. Uh, the other uh, issue in fluid uh, dynamics, sometimes we have data depend uh, the time on the time duration and size of the data. We can make short term or long term prediction, uh, which is depend on data. And then we talked about the capability of LSTM uh, variants, which is uh, included LSTM and GRU. 
uh, which means uh, when it is born, uh, the uh, uh, deep learning able to uh, overcome on the vanishing gradient in the recurrent neural network. And uh, the next generation of the LSTM group uh, came to uh, the field. So uh, the application of these uh, time series in this work is extended. And it provided good results, which uh, in the literature is reported that uh, they can uh, make a prediction with good accuracy, matching the validation uh, test data. Yeah, and as well as in the some literature is reported go faster and can work with fewer data than LSD. The challenge in the trade dynamics is coherent flow. We mentioned that as we discussed about uh, the unsolved problem in the great dynamics and physics, uh, as Feynman, uh, the scientist said, and uh, the last uh, hypothesis we did so effective, and now it's uh, applied in the study of students, so it's a formable hypothesis, which usually is following uh, a specific range of the students. Uh, the idea uh, currently to study the coolant flow, uh, we should gather the theory, experiment, and simulation together to be able to do that. So the deep learning is uh, in the simulation uh, part, and uh, we can apply the data from the experiment or from the numerical solution and make a simulation or prediction. Uh, this is a way that how we can apply deep learning and uh, hopefully we can understand better the uh, turbulent phenomenon. Then uh, on the lecture, we had the uh, example of one uh, experiment, which is used to, uh, to make a uh, LSTM model and the model. Uh, we explained the detail of the work. It was including it was the uh, 2D measurement included a uh, time series of the data with uh, location x and y coordinates and the velocity with two components in x and y direction. Uh, we uh, talked about the model that uses the LSTM and tool, uh, and we presented the results uh, which. This is from the work is published. Uh, we can look on the results here. The figure is presented the result. We use uh, this data from the experiment with 80% and 60% training ratio. Uh, and the result uh, and prediction is matching in the uh, good uh, condition with the uh, validation data. And it, uh, we can say it's a remarkable model to predict the turbulent flow. Uh, however, we uh, point to uh, capability of deep learning that in such of this experiment or uh, type of deep flow, there are many different parameters. Uh, we can say high dimensionality and uh, non-linearity in this phenomenon. Uh, for example, in that data, there was the presence of the gravity, uh, there was a strain rate, there was a different turbulent intensity, uh, but uh, in the uh, LST model, only uh, velocity as an input in the model and predicted the next period of the velocity without training on the effective parameter. So, this is a great capability of the deep learning. As we presented the results from the speed up. Result when we use uh, this uh, LSTM and two model with one time with one node and one GPU and second time with one node and four GPU, uh, which is as is expected, uh, the speed up go up. Uh, and uh, the result was in good uh, metric measure. Now let's uh, carry on about for uh, part one of the lecture 11. In part one, uh, we will uh, talk about the open term, and the second part we will have a, a practical adventure.
open form is a software uh, which is open source. It is free. You can download it and install it on your own computer. Uh, it's uh, covering the lamina and tubular segment, compressible and compressible flow, and has a feature to do parallel computing. Uh, basically, open form it's uh, um, capable to do a uh, simulation. Uh, the language in this uh, software is C plus plus, and because it's open source, uh, there is a possibility to uh, make a, a dictionary and library for a new problem, and uh, also in the source code, uh, there is a possibility to make a change and uh, update it for your problem with different conditions than uh, the source code. And uh, this makes uh, make, uh, open from a really flexible software, especially in the research. However, in the informal industry, it's applicable. As I said, uh, open form is C++ support. Uh, development of customized numerical solver. It has a utility for pre and post processing. Uh, it's solving a continuum mechanics problem and particularly uh, computational flight dynamics CFT. Uh, it's uh, applied in some industries, for example, automotive, manufacturing, process engineering, and environmental engineering. Uh, open form has the algorithm to make a decomposition. Uh, that means when we have a specific CFD domain of the problem and we want to solve it, uh, we can uh, split uh, these domain into uh, different subdomains. And uh, every subdomain will be solved by a specific process. And this is the capability of the parallel computing. Uh, it has a different uh, algorithm, a simple uh, hierarchical and uh, uh, a scope, uh, as well there is another one is called manual. Uh, in this lecture in part two, we will have a practical example of these three methods, how they are working and how we can uh, decompose the CFP domain. Regarding the open form structure, uh, in one part you have uh, access to dictionaries and uh, source code uh, to make your simulation. And uh, there is a visualization software for part of you. Uh, you can uh, have visualization of your simulation uh, and extract the data. Uh, Regarding the available uh, solver, it has a standard solver for any uh, low case, you can say. Uh, but because it's open source, of course, it's possible to have a, a new solver for a specific problem. Here is a view of the power view when we uh, visualize the problem in the open uh, source software. Uh, we will look on the environment of the open form, but here we will make, we are we mentioned that the uh, open form has a three specific directories of freedom. It's consistent, uh, constant, and zero. The zero is uh, providing the initial condition of the data. If we have data, for example, if we have velocity, if we have pressure, uh, we can specify the initial condition of the uh, feature. Uh, constant is mostly uh, specifying the physical properties of the uh, problem and as well uh, about the mesh. Uh, system uh, directly included the control uh, of the problem solving the solution, the scheme we using. Uh, for example, the parallel property uh, dictionary is in the system directory. Uh, we will look on this environment and we will see how uh, it's working and we can 
uh, set up our problem. Uh, however, as we said before, this uh, lecture is not to teach you open form. Uh, maybe we have some students from the CFP and they know it. And uh, if you are interested, there are more resources you can uh, learn open form. Uh, how in this lecture we, we will provide the code and the program and we'll only we run it to uh, be familiar with its uh, system and how it works. Uh, to visualize the, the problem as well, uh, it has a, um, a specific open source software currently, uh, and it's connected to open form, and we can uh, see the result of the solution or information or how we can decompose the uh, problem in uh, open form. This is the view of the website of the power view. Uh, which is used, which is using for visualizing the problem in the open form software. Uh, here we can see from this uh, picture uh, how it's able to visualize the problem in 3D or 2D, and you can have a scale and uh, consider the result. Uh, view is for visualization in and data analysis application. For extremely large data sets, uh, multi platform, it's working with just of an XPC resources and it's open source software. And it's free to download and modify, compile, and process. Uh, so, uh, so far, we can understand that open form uh, is open source and as well as we can install it with its visualization software, which is part of it. Uh, power view uh, possible to install on the all uh, available uh, systems like Windows, uh, Mac, uh, Linux, uh, and as well it's working on the uh, desktop and laptop computer and uh, also on the HPC system. Uh, and its capability in the region is really strong. You can have visualization in 3D for the advanced materials and in high temperature uh, and many specific problems uh, with specific detail is able to visualize in this uh, software. Uh, now let's have a look on the open form environment and the available sources regarding this. Uh, firstly, I want to show you the website for open form with the uh, website CFT Direct. It's uh, providing the uh, user guide for every version. You can see different versions and it has a very good structure. Uh, you can have some examples and look on them how you can, for example, run your first example in the QSP and you can understand the structure. Uh, and then when you look about the library, you can understand how the program is working. Regarding the power computers, it has a this section discussing the power computers, and we have example in this section. As I said, we have different algorithm methods to do the decomposition, the simple one. Uh, here we did detail and the abstract one, and then the manual one. Uh, we have a sport manual, which is here simple and the sport and manual. They have different. Uh, uh, properties and we have examples of them and you can see how you can set up your uh, problem for every paper uh, when you have a, you can specify your numerical scheme with the solution and algorithm control about the machine the boundary condition we need to stop. sometimes you need to do the post sourcing after the solution and you can visualize your uh, solution and there is a possibility to do equivalent model as well uh, in the open form. So this is a, a good resource uh, to if you are interested to learn more about the open form and you can apply. Uh, regarding the structure of open form, let's have a look how it's working and how we can. Uh, set up our problem. Uh, 
I had I have example here. We can look into the example. The floating from a computer interface, a computer open form. So let's see. So can see here we have three examples. We will do them in the uh, second part of the question. Uh, it's a uh, flow case with depth chart 2D and then the 3D way of the flow case. Uh, we will look on this simple one. Okay, now we are in. We can see in this uh, flow case, we have three dimension, zero, constant, and system. We can look inside them and we can see how it's working. I can see the CD zero. And you see what we have here for this example, we will work on it a little bit in the problem. In the second part, it's for multiple flow. So we have a two fluids, water and uh, air. And we specify the uh, initial condition of this uh, two fluid in this problem. We can move inside one of them, but water and this one. It looks like a big view. You can see the information here. The dimension and about the internal key is uniform, zero, and about the setup here. So we are not going to talk about this because we are not uh, teaching the open form. How if you are there are many courses. Uh, and uh, from this, every file you can make your setup and save the file. Uh, this is uh, for example, we can look on the view. The view is going to this one, you can see the dimension here, and uh, it's uniform. Uh, and how it's going about the board with no sleep, and uh, with uh, which method it's using uh, to configure the bonding field. If we go back, we can see inside the function very clear. We see in the function most of the uh, source code for uh, physical properties of the water, of the air, phase uh, properties. So it's only mostly focused on the physical properties. And we have G, for example, we can look on the G. G, we can also for G here and uh, the value. Uh, now let's look on the CDR system in there. Uh, system directory. We do the system directory. When we look on the system directory, we can see here we have a blackness uh, dictionary, a uh, control dictionary. Decompose how dictionary and the rule of the SP. You can put the SP, you can put on the solution. Uh, let's have a look on the decompose file dictionary, which is for decomposition. Uh, 
as you can see here, this is the dictionary. Uh, it's specifying the method. Here it is specifying the simple method. And here we can specify the how we can form because we have x, y, and z direction. We can specify for every direction how we, we want to uh, decompose the problem. And this information is available here. Here, when in the method, we can specify the and which one we want to use. We can write simple, we can write here and here, and we can write the story. So, this is about the uh, structure of the source code of the open form. We will run practical example in the second part. Uh, before we finish the first part, let's have a look on uh, open form as well on the Eurocard that you are actually When you want to enter Eurocard for terminal, uh, you need to use SSH command and your account name. So as you can see here, we have the Eureka. We have access to our environment now. And uh, if I take a look on the available uh, data, you can see here I have the open source here. So I'm going to move to see what we have. And exactly this example that we have on the uh, report, uh, and it has the same structure that we have here. You can see it's a Okay, there are some uh, output and error from the previous running. Uh, however, here we can see the output. Uh, but regarding the available data, you can see uh, the dictionary zero constant, uh, uh, the directory, sorry, the directory zero and directory constant and directory system running here. And uh, the other uh, file is from the previous running. When we will run uh, the practical in the second part of the lecture, we will see the uh, uh, output and it is report how it works. So, so, so far, we had an uh, example and we had uh, um, we took a look on the environment of the uh, open plan. And then in the second part, we will have practical content. Uh, now we are uh, finished the uh, you know, first uh, part of the lecture. Uh, just in the end, there is a, a video uh, for a uh, very nice uh, effect, uh, which is called Magnus Effect. Uh, you can watch this video. The link uh, is available on the references of this lecture. Uh, and uh, it's uh, really nice and interesting uh, phenomenon. And so uh, I, I stop the lecture for part one uh, of lecture level, and uh, we will back shortly uh, to have a second part with classical examples.